Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. At kung bago ka sa akin channel, huwag kalimutang i-hit ang subscribe button and also i-click ang notification bell para ma-update ka sa mga bago at bonggang uploads ko. everyone, for today's video, pag-uusapan po natin kung ano ang mga factors, factors that could contribute to the success of one person in the drastic process of hormone replacement therapy. In other words, pag-uusapan po natin kung ano yung mga factors na dapat i-consider kung bakit nagiging successful ang isang trans woman sa proseso ng HRT. So, if you're really a fan of watching my videos, you will learn or you will know that I'm in this rustic process of hormone replacement therapy for how many months? I must say na almost almost 9 months or 8 months and I must say guys na wala talaga kung pinagsisihan kung bakit ako dumaan sa prosesong ito dahil alam kong ito ang makatulong sa akin upang mas makilala ko pa ang aking sarili at upang matugma or mamatch kung ano yung aking katawan sa kung ano ang tunay na aking nararamdaman. So, yan naman talaga ang pinaka main purpose ng proseso ng HRT to help those person na pakiramdam nila meron silang gender dysphoria or in other words, yung mga taong pakiramdam nila natatrap sila sa katawang hindi na ayon sa kung ano ang nararamdaman nila. Pero, bago tayo dumako sa pinaka main content ng vlog na ito, nice ko lang sanang bigyang linaw na ako ay hindi isang doktor, I'm not an endocrinologist, I am also not a person working in the field of medicine and and yung mga ang mga sasabihin kong ito based lang ito sa aking mga naobserbahan I also learned this through having some extensive research and also through those peers through my friends na trans pinay trans woman din na dumadaan ongoing pa like me dumadaan pa rin sa proseso ng HRT at ang iba sa kanila masasabi ko na matagumpay sa proseso ng HRT. Yes, that's right. So, kung ikaw ay isang taong gustong dumaan sa proseso ng HRT, ay mas say na ang video na ito, ang vlog na ito ay isa sa mga videos na dapat mong panaurin for you to be guided sa pagdaan ng proseso ng HRT. But again and again, I'm not a doctor or a person working in the field. So, let us not prolong the agony of waiting. So, let's proceed to the main content. So, first factor na dapat i-consider or first factor kung bakit naging successful ang isang tao sa proseso ng HRT is age or in Tagalog, edad. So, age plays a very important role in the process of HRT. The younger, the better. We all know or I know to inform you, the main purpose of HRT is for us men Males and boys not to experience the puberty of males. So kapag young ka or kapag maaga ka nag-start ng HRT, maaga kang nag-detect ng mga pills, mga testosterone blocker na yan, much better for you. That way, naiiwasan mo ang pagdaan sa proseso or pagdaan ng puberty ng mga lalaki. So we don't want that trip. We don't want that puberty because Isa yan sa mga dahilan kung bakit nagkaka-develop tayo ng secondary male characteristics and we don't want male characteristics, right? Because pakiramdam natin, tayo ay babae. So the younger the better. Ito mga trans Pinay, most of the trans Pinay I featured in my channel, if you're really fan of my channel, they started at a very young age and look at them, napakaganda. Walang bahid ng pagkalalaki and also I must say na walang bukayo. Yung feeling ba na talagang Malilin lang ka talaga yung feeling na mas maganda pa sila sa mga biological na babae and I believe and I believe that the age malaki talaga ang naitutulong niya the younger the better pero I don't want to discourage those person or people na gustong dumaan sa proseso ng HRT even though medyo huli medyo matanda na sila hindi pa huli ang lahat habang may buhay mag, may pag-asa the best thing that we need to do is to start it now, trust in the process, and believe in your instinct. Second factor, we have the combos of hormones. Palagi kong, palagi kong ibinabahagi sa aking mga vlogs na sa pagdaan ng proseso ng HRT, 
you will be needing two combos of medicines or hormones. So first, we need the estrogen hormone. So, ang gamit ng estrogen is for you to develop secondary female characteristics like boobs, more feminine figure, and also facial, more feminine facial um, figure. And for the testosterone blocker naman, ang gamit niya is for you or to help you to help you stop the production of testosterone in your body. That way, naiwasan ang pagdevelop mo ng secondary male characteristics. Now, kapag duman ka sa proseso ng HRT, hindi talaga advisable ang mag self medicate because to self medicate it's very risky. But in my case, I don't want to be hypocrite. I'm doing this. Hindi naman masama ang mag self medicate for as long as you have to make sure na tamang gamot ang yung ginagamit at hindi mo inabuso ang yung katawan. It is really advisable to seek a medical advice from someone working in the field such as endocrinologist. That way, gumagawa siya ng iba't ibang test at nasusuri din niya kung ano ang hormones at medicines at ilang amount ng medicines ang nababagay sa iyong katawan depende na rin sa iyong edad. So, kapag nag-self-medicate ka naman, I don't think it's a wrong doing but it's a risky thing. So, kung nag-self-medicate ka, the only thing that you could do is trial and error mag try ka ng iba't ibang hormones and for you to know kung ano talaga ang hiyang sa iyo e kasi nga may mga hormones na hiyang sa akin na hindi hiyang sa iyo at meron ding mga hormones na hiyang sa iyo na hindi hiyang sa akin kaya wag kang matakot na mag trial and error that way it's a stepping stone for you to know kung ano talaga ang hormone na nababagay para sa iyo third factor we have genes so Trans Pinay such as Luis Santos, Miss Amda Banugid Balaro, and many more. Kung susuriin nyo ang kanilang pagmukha before, before the their transition, I must say na talagang good looking na sila, handsome. And genes play also a very important role in the process of hormone replacement therapy. If you're really this person na gifted with this very feminine facial feature, for sure, you will not ha you will not be having a hard time undergoing this process and to be successful in the process is is an easy task for you since meron ka na nga na, meron ka na nga ng babihan facial feature and hindi ka na mahirapan sa pag develop pa uh, my point there is it will be an easy task for you to be successful since you you already have this feminine facial feature now for those person na Meron namang very masculine facial feature. You don't have to worry because there are a lot of options. Isa na doon is ang facial surgeries for you to even look look for you to even look more feminine. So jeans, it has something to deal with the body also. Kapag tugma yung mga hormones na natin take mo sa yung katawan, magiging madali lang na maging successful sa proseso ng HRT. Kung paano nagreact yung hormones na hormones na tinitake mo at ang iyong katawan dapat mash talaga sila that way, hindi ka mahirapan yes, it will really take time pero yung epekto ba ng hormones sa iyo is talagang maganda and seeing this trans pinay masasabi mo talaga masasabi ko talaga na perfect hormones plus maaga pa silang nag-start sa HRT the only thing that could say is lucky them but you know what sis? Trust, magtiwala ka lang talaga sa sarili mo at sa proseso. Fourth factor, we have lifestyle. Adam naman natin na hindi, hindi basta-basta ang pagdaan ng proseso ng HRT. It's a very risky process, especially if you will self medicate For these combos of hormones to work, you also need to have a healthy lifestyle. Hindi enough ang mga hormones na ito. Dapat, you will also do a part or, will, or you will also think of possible ways na for you to even look more feminine like for example you need to have a good lifestyle you need to have exercises for you to be physically fit that way you look more feminine kasi nga ang mga hormones na ito hindi lang sila enough ang mga hormones na ito maiba sa kanila hindi kanila binibigyan ng magandang bat so for example lang yan so in that case ang ginagawa mo you need to have some exercises and the best thing that you can do is to have some squat exercises for you to develop for you to develop this very nice bot and aside from that it is also advisable to to have this healthy eating 
kumain ng gulay at prutas sa pagdaan ng proseso ng HRT. That way, pinapaka, pinapalakas niya ang iyong resistensya at ang in, iyong inyong at inyong immune system. That way, naiiwasan ang pagkakaroon ng iba't ibang uri ng sakit and also hormones and fruits also and vegetables. Meron din silang interaction na, na nakakatulong upang maganda, magiging maganda yung epekto ng hormones sa iyong katawan. So, that's for the fourth factor. That's lifestyle. We really need to have a healthy lifestyle while being on this process of HRT. And for the last factor, we have mindset. The power of mental conditioning. You really need to put in your mind that you will be successful in this process. There is no room for negativity if you want to undergo in the process of HRT. Yes, it is okay to doubt, but it is not okay to have a negative mindset. We need to be optimistic. You need to put in your mind that, yes, it will really take time, mga sis, and you also be needing um, patience for you to become successful in this process. Ang mga hormones na ito, hindi lang siya mga magic pills na once it take mo agad-agad na agad-agad mong maramdaman ang kanyang epekto. It will really take time. You need to trust in the process. You need to trust in your instincts and most especially, magkaroon ka rin ng tatag sa iyong sarili. Kasi sa pagdaan mo ng proseso ng HRT, there are a lot of things that you need to sacrifice. Magsasakripisyo ka ng pera. Also, marami pang mga taong... Wait, may dumaan. Okay. So, meron pa mga taong kukwestiyonin ka kung bakit ka dumaan sa ganitong uri ng proseso. But the only thing that you need to do is to bear in your mind that ito ang prosesong nararapat mong pagdaanan dahil alam mo sa sarili mo na ito ang makakatulong para sa'yo. Kaya, kailangan mo talagang magkaroon ng positive, positibong pananaw. Dapat, you really need to have a positive mindset kung gusto mo talagang maging successful sa proseso ng hormone replacement therapy. To sum up everything guys, narito ang ilan sa mga factors na dapat i-consider kung bakit nagiging successful ang isang tao sa proseso ng hormone replacement therapy. So, first, age or edad. Second, combos of hormones. Mga hormones na hiyangan talaga sa inyo. Then third, genes. Kung talagang gifted ka with this very facial, feminine facial feature. And also, if you're handsome looking, it's a good start for you. But I don't want to discourage those people na not that blessed. And also, Lifestyle, you need to have a healthy lifestyle while being on this process. And lastly, mindset, the power of mental conditioning. You really need to have a positive mind in doing or in having or in, in undergoing in this drastic process. Yun lang ang pinaka, pakiramdam ko, ang pinaka main factors na dapat talaga i-consider kung bakit naging successful ang isang tao. Yes, in my case, tumadaan ako sa proseso ng HRT and masasabi ko na hindi pa talaga ako totally develop hindi ko pa talaga na reach yung gusto kong ma reach na success in this process pero I'm working really hard in my studies in order for me to be able to achieve my plans and also my ambitions in life and alam niyo kung ano alam niyo naman siguro kung ano ang mga plano ng yun and I'm hoping na magiging successful ako sa proseso ng HRT and para naman dun sa mga taong na the doubt sa proseso Girl, sis, pagpatuloy niya lang, ipagpatuloy niyo lang yan. Alam mo, if pumarish mo na ang tagumpay na gusto mo talagang maabot, you will look back and masasabi, na, masasabi mo na worth, worth it talaga ang lahat ng mga pinaghihirapan mo. And para naman doon sa mga taong gustong dumaan sa ganitong proseso pero nagdadalawang isip, sis, you don't need to think twice. You need to think about your situation. Hindi madali ang makulong sa katawan na pakiramdam mo, hindi natutugma or naaayon sa kung ano ka talaga. Yes, hindi, huli, hindi pa huli ang lahat habang may buhay, may pag-asa. Kaya habang hindi, pa huli ang dahil, hindi, habang hindi pa huli ang lahat, go, dumaan ka na sa proseso ng HRT. That would be all. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you learned something out of this video. Again and again, thank you so much for watching. God bless us all and see you on my next video.